Hey everyone, it's Kayla with The Celebration Company, and I have a cute little craft that I'm going to make for you guys, which would be something perfect for Mother's Day, or just for any day, any special um, occasion. So, I am making a cute little, sort of a frame type of a thing. So, what I have is a brass candlestick that I got at a thrift store for super inexpensive, probably like 50 cents. And then this is just a wood block that I got from my basement. So this is a two by six and it's just kind of like a square shape. Okay. So any kind of like square shaped block. And then I just have this little finial that came out of my wood bin. Okay. So you can get something like this at Hobby Lobby, Michael's, Walmart, in the wood, unfinished wood section. And then I just have a cute little picture here that I'm going to be using that's going to go right in the middle. And this is just a square picture. It was actually a four by six that I just cut part of it off. Okay. So all we're going to use for this one, I'm going to do white. You could paint whatever color you want to. So I'm going to use the Waverly Chalk White from Walmart. All right, and we're just going to give this a quick coat of chalk paint, okay? So we're just going to coat the whole thing. We're going to do the candlestick, we're going to do the block of wood, and we're going to do the little finial piece at the top. Um, and we're going to end up distressing this a bit, so it's going to be super cute, I think. You could also, you could use any kind of candlestick. For this, you basically want just that sort of pedestal-like look, okay? So, just give this a quick coat. We may have to do two coats. I hope not, but we'll see. Most likely, it's going to need two coats. I think I'm going to do the bottom, too, because I feel like you might see that. Um, but go to... Go to the thrift stores, y'all, and just find whatever you can find that's like just a candlestick of any kind. You could even use the Dollar Tree candlesticks, the glass ones. You could put two of those on top of each other and, and do that. That would be really cute as well. So I just want to make sure to get it all coated. I'm not going to do the inside of the top because you're not going to see it. We're going to be setting our wood block just right on top of it. So you're not even going to see that. All right. Let that dry for a minute while I do these. I'll, I've got my hair dryer with me. So I will, um, I can dry them with the hair dryer. Y'all, this is a pre-recorded video. It's not a live Sometimes it's just easier for me to do it that way, just depending on what's going on in my life. So that's the way it is today. I think this little block here is not going to need two coats. It's covering pretty well, but I do have to paint all sides because you're going to see all of it. So I definitely recommend using the chalk paint for this project. The reason why is because <clears throat> the acrylic paint, it just doesn't stick very well to the brass and it doesn't cover very well either. So it just covers the raw wood and stuff way better. Those are very pretty, baby. Good job. I love it. I love them. Um, Griffin's over here painting, so he was showing me what he had painted. All right, bear with me, y'all, as I just get this painted. I know it's kind of boring, but I wanted, I didn't want to do it ahead of time because I wanted y'all to be able to see the items that I was working with and see them before I painted them. Oh, okay. Go play, baby. Okay. 
So this is covering really well. This is gonna be the cutest thing ever, y'all. Can't wait to see it done. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and dry this real quick so that I don't get paint all over my hands. I'm gonna dry part of it and then I'm gonna finish. I haven't finished it, so hang on one second. It'll dry pretty quickly. The writing on the wood kind of showing through a little, so I might have to put two coats on that. But otherwise, it's it covers just fine. Our candlestick's definitely going to need two coats. I keep this hair dryer away from my hair because it likes to suck up the hair through the back of the hair dryer. I was feeling my hair kind of like. All right. Let's do the rest of this real quick. So like I said, this is just a two by six piece of wood that I just cut it down to this size. It, it was just a random scrap piece of wood I found in my basement. And I just cut it to be kind of like a square. So it's about six inches by six inches. Okay. There we go. All right. Let's don't forget our little finial here. Let me see if I've got something that will go inside here. Make it a little easier to paint. Hopefully this will work. And you don't have to paint the bottom because it's gonna be glued right onto the top of this little wood block here. Just the top part of it is all we have to paint. You can see that this is pretty super quick craft. I mean, it's it's only going to be a matter of just putting this together after we paint it. All right, so I'm going to dry our candlestick and our finial so I can do a second coat on these real quick. Okay. All right, that was quick. Now I'm just gonna do a second coat real fast. I'm trying to hurry y'all. I know you don't wanna sit and watch me paint. But like I said, I just, I didn't want to have them pre-painted because it just doesn't, the effect isn't as nice. You guys can't see what everything looked like beforehand as well. Okay, so I'm just gonna do a second coat here on this candlestick. Just try to, you know, put it on kind of thin and even. Make sure you get it all covered. And it doesn't have to be totally perfect because we're gonna go back and we're gonna just sand some of it off anyways so that it looks, has like a distressed look. And we may even do some antiquing wax on our wood block as well. But you want it to be mostly covered. You could also spray paint this if um, you didn't have any chalk paint and you had like white spray paint, that would work as well. That white spray paint tends to stick to metal pretty well. So that would work as well. I'm gonna dry this real quick and then we'll be ready to put this all together. There's nothing like a fresh coat of white paint, y'all. 
I just think it's just so pretty. There's where I was trying to get my hair in. Right, let me make sure this is dry. Because it's not dry. Okay. I think we're good. All right. So here's what we're going to do now. So now that everything is painted and mostly dry, we're going to grab our sandpaper and do some sanding. So I'm just using this 80 grit sandpaper. I keep it in my craft room, use it all the time. Y'all have seen me use it a billion times. I'm going to distress my wood block here. So I'm just going to make sure to take off the paint on all the edges. Still a little bit wet. But just sand those, the corners and the edges. you what that looks like so you can see just kind of how we took off that paint you want to do the front and the back because you're going to be able to see this um you'll be able to see the front and the back you want it to be kind of all pretty yes yeah, sweetie okay good all right, and I sometimes like to just take my sandpaper and get the corners really good. So just kind of take off a little bit extra on all the corners. I just really like a distressed look, so. The more the better. All right. I'm going to do the same thing to my candlestick, but I'm just going to just take off. It doesn't take much effort to just take off a bit and expose the candlestick underneath. Okay. So just like that. All right, just adds a little bit of character to it. Don't forget your finial. You wanna do it as well. We want it to have kind of a cohesive look. Okay, I'm gonna Clean all this up real quick. All right. Now, I want the distressing on my wood block to show up a little bit more. Just doesn't show up very much because the wood underneath is so light. So, I'm going to grab some of my weathered oak. I think that's where I'm going to start. This is the Minwax Weathered Oak, and I'm going to grab a paper towel, and I'm just going to put a little bit of the stain on my paper towel and just go over the spots that I have distressed to make it a little bit darker, make it stand out a little bit more. So just kind of rub it on those corners and the edges. make it darker. What, baby? You did. Does it? 
Oh, hot fudge lava cake. You know I'd be down for that. Love me some chocolate. Look at this right here. All right. And you can just kind of wipe away the excess. Um, but you can see, right I mean, here? it doesn't change it a lot, but it makes it show um, up a little bit better. What, baby? Right here? Yes, as long as you are being good. Okay. So, my hands are filthy. I need to take up. Somebody suggested getting some baby wipes for my craft area. I need to do that. Okay. So, before I put this thing together, I'm going to go ahead and put on my picture. And I'm going to use some glue dots because I don't really want it to be oh, permanent. Mama. Hang on, baby. Okay. Let me get this done. I don't want it to be permanent and so I don't want to like mod podge it on. You could do that if you wanted it to be permanent but I'm just going to use these glue dots. I got them from um, the Dollar Tree. Oh fun. So I'm just going to stick them just right in the corners of the picture and this way I know that with these I can pull the picture back off later if I want to switch it out for a different one. So it's versatile. So you just rub them on and then just peel off the plastic. These are like, they're, they're quite strong. Um, but they're just this sticky material. It's almost like, you know how you get a, um, a toy or something like that from the store and it's got this sort of sticky residue on it. That's basically what this is. Okay. So I'm just going to center my picture onto the block and then just stick it down. Okay. Just like that. So now I have some E6000, which is what you're going to want to use for something like this. If you use hot glue, it's not going to stay. You're going to end up re-gluing it a bunch of times. So I'm going to use some E6000 and I'm going to put some all the way around the rim of my candlestick. Right on the top. And then I'm just going to center my wood block just right on top of my candlestick. Hang on, y'all. Okay. So then I'm going to do the same thing for my little finial, put some glue on the top and then just stick it right on, right on the top in the middle. Okay. Let me show y'all what this looks like. Look how cute this is. All right. So next I am going to put a little bit of a bow. I feel like it needs a bow. I want one right here, okay? So, let me see what I have. Who is that? That's you. I'm going to use this right here. I think this will be perfect. So, this is that chevron ribbon from the Dollar Tree. So, I'm going to make a little bow out of it. All right, and I'm just going to do this kind of a bow. So, you just cross it like this, okay? So you make two little loops and then I think I want this ribbon in the middle. I'm worried it's going to be too big. Hang on y'all. Let me adjust this. I think I can make it work. Let's see. I don't know. This might not work. We're going to play with it. Typically, I just use like some jute in the middle, but I really want this fabric or this ribbon to be in the middle. So let's see how it does. So I'm just going to tie it up. Tie it 
nice and tight. Okay. Let's see what we got here. I think it's working. All right. So the pieces that I used to tie it up with, I'm gonna just cut those down so that you can't see them. And I'm gonna put a little hot glue behind it to keep it together. Okay, so here's how our bow looks. Okay, I'm gonna definitely cut the strings down, so let me do that. And I'm gonna cut a little triangle out of them. Okay, here we go cute little bow. No, you've already had ice cream. I stole a bite. I stole a bite. Put it away right now. All right. Sorry, y'all. Okay, so this little bow is going to go right here, and this is going to be the cutest thing ever. So I'm just going to grab some hot glue, and then this little guy is done. All right, so let me just stick that right on just right where the candlestick and the wood block meet. Okay, and the wood block and the candlestick are gonna need some time to dry. They're not stuck right now because I used the E6000. Um, trying to let this glue dry real quick. Griffin, please get out of there and go to your space, please. Thank you. All right, so. Here is what this looks like. Look at that, y'all. How cute is this? Now, would this not make the most perfect gift for your mother, your grandmothers? They would love this. Mama, what, baby? I'm cracking these open. Okay. Um, what I love about this, no hammering right now, please. What I love about this is that it's so different than just your traditional picture frame. We all have so many different picture frames, but I love that this gives a different presence than a picture frame does. It adds so much character to any decor. So this is a fun idea for you guys. So I hope that y'all will do this. So remember just any kind of candlestick um, for the base. And then you've got just a wooden block, just a piece of wood. This is a two by six cut down and it is about six inches by six inches. And then we just put a little finial on the top and it's done. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you all have a fabulous day and we'll talk soon. Bye.